What's up? I'm Brad. We're here at Click 989's Acoustic Lounge. We're about to let some people in to see Shepard. And I have four of them. Isn't there a fifth person? The There's six. Six. six of them. Six? Yeah. There they are. It's like uh, 80 people boys. in this band. <laughs> All right, cool. So introduce yourselves. We got, I'll introduce you. I guess that's my whole job. It's my whole job. <laughs> I gig. should probably do it. Uh, so we got Jay, Amy, George, and Emma. Yep. Nice one. And you three are siblings. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the origin of Shepherd, which just used to be you two. Yeah, we used to be just a folky kind of duo, and um, uh, it wasn't too long before we met the third songwriter, Jay Bavino, over here. And uh, we wrote about 30 tracks together and um, recorded them, went through a few producers, and then um, we were like, yeah, we really got like this cool sound going on. Um, let's pursue it a bit more. And, and then we decided, well, if we want to play live, we need a full band. So <laughs> that's where everyone else came in bo on board. Was it cool for you to join the siblings after, I mean, they had this whole thing going, you're like, can I tag along, or? <laughs> uh, I didn't ask, I just kind of know. <laughs> um, she showed up one day <laughs> to a gig. What's going on? It's a family right at this point. Yeah, I, um, I was at school, and um, when the band started, and they ended up touring around the Philippines, and I wasn't allowed to go, and I was really, very upset about that. And so I um, learned bass guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned how to play an instrument, and I said, I'm coming with you next time. That's great. Pretty much. Um, you know, Australia is a lot different than the United States. How long have you guys been bouncing around over here now? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks this time. But we've been here about seven times on <laughs> tours. <laughs> we, <laughs> we're practically <laughs> locals now. <laughs> uh, is, uh, do the differences strike you anymore then? Or is it just like, okay, cool, Americans are crazy. And this is no, Americans, we, we find them to be really op optimistic and positive people. Like, it's, audience members are always like clapping and singing along, even if they don't know the songs. And it's a, a much bigger country. So, you know, in Australia, there's only pretty much two radio formats. You've got commercial and uh, alternative. But yeah. over here, you know, it's like 7,000. That's not that different here, just pretending most of the time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you've got you to, gotta like, you know, try and spread your time out evenly across all these different places. And to, to like, kind of get the whole country is a, is a huge task. In, in this two-week run, how many cities have you hit? Uh, oh, we've Los four, Angeles, New York. Um, Portland, and now Seattle. And uh, you don't have to say Seattle. Uh, what is like? What was some of your favorite parts in each of those cities, and which one was your favorite city? <laughs> um, well, Seattle. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here for like eight hours. You're like, Seattle, of course. <laughs> we slept for the, the first time. seven hours we were here. We love Portland. Um, yeah. That's where our music was first played on the radio. So oh, we cool. Have, um, we have a soft spot yeah. for Portland. Seattle light, as we call it. Right, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. It's like the mini version, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. tiny Seattle. Yeah, so I'm, I'm keen to like get into Seattle and you know explore a little bit. We're here for another day and a half, so we'll oh, really? hopefully that, have some time to... That's kind of rare, right, to be in a place for, for that long? Yeah, yeah, normally it's less than 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. What are you planning to do while you're here? Um, Laundry. <laughs> Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We, someone, I have a friend here, and they're going to some market. Some, Some market. I don't know. I'm going to go there. What's the, yeah, what's the next, market called? It's next door. It's <laughs> like place market. No, uh, no. It's like some street market. So I'm going to go there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you know, one of the things that I've noticed about your music is it is, like you said, people, even if they don't know the words, it's clappable. It's like, it's fun. Is that is that something that just kind of organically happened? Or you're like, we have to sit down and make clappable things. Yeah, we really wanted something clappable. That was like the main, <laughs> the main goal. On the, yeah, just <laughs> clappable. Does this song fit this description? <laughs> no, it was, it was definitely something that just kind of came out of us. Good. You know, we didn't, really, we didn't really set out to write a specific type of music. It was just what kind of naturally came to us. And all three songwriters have very different influences. And I guess those influences came in together and sort of blended up and sort of created something new, like a, like a chocolate cake. What's your goal as the band? What's the goal as the band? Yeah. Uh, we just want to make music, to be honest. Like, and the fact that so many people get to hear it is, is a huge bonus. Like, it means that we get to continue doing it, and that's like, to make a living out of it, that's the goal. Yeah, I'd agree. So just continue to do it and pay the bills at the same time? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, good. Anything else that comes is a bonus. So three songwriters, and does that ever upset you, Emma, that you don't get it, you're not writing songs? Um, I, well, I didn't know I was, I could, I was musically, um, inclined, so hopefully, you know, in the years to come, I can start 
you know, writing songs and join them. Yeah, it's definitely admirable what Emma's done. Like she's gone yeah. from nothing to this awesome bass bass player and. Well, nothing. She was a she was a fashionista. Oh uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> not nothing, but I mean, musically speaking, she didn't play an instrument and she's gone. You know, well, um, Miles Edge is a great bass player now, and I th I can see her definitely continuing to develop into songwriting. This is gonna be an awkward question, okay? If you guys had to pick one of you guys, one of you, one of you six, one of you 37 that are in this band, um, which one's gonna leave you guys and go become like a megastar? <laughs> <laughs> Michael. <laughs> he's just, him. he's the he, most You handsome. look like a megastar, I could go with that, mm -hmm. yeah. I think megastar. Michael, he's got the, he's he's got the hair. He's the about Destiny's Child. I think Room cool 5 should be looking for a new front man soon. I think you're perfect for that, yeah. And he's, uh, a, he's a super kind, super genuine human being, and I think that'll get him very far. Oh, not here, though, not in America. Yeah, you have to, that doesn't work here. <laughs> um, you wanted to be an actor at some point, right? We're just playing around with that. Is that true? That's correct, yeah. So, of current television, American television, because, uh -huh. I mean, it's American television. Yep. What show would you want to act in? Uh, there's a few. Okay. Um, American Horror Story, I think, is incredible. Like, the fact that, as an actor, you get to change the characters every single season. Right. I think that'd be a really cool challenge. That'd be an awesome job to have. Um, something in uh, Better Call Saul at the moment. It's just come out. It's yep. only two episodes, but I'm hooked. Okay. I loved Breaking Bad. I mean, Jay and I watched every single episode, you know, almost back to back <laughs> from season one. Do you think you'll Do you think you'll play around with that later in your career? I mean, after I mean, this hopefully this doesn't settle down first of all. But uh -huh. do you think you're like, oh wait? We're, we're not recording an album right now, and we're not kind of doing anything for like 30 days. I'm going to go try to do something. Do you think you'll ever do that? <laughs> if something comes up, you know, if Steven Spielberg comes to me and he says, hey, man, you, you're perfect for this, and I'll be like, cool, that's great, nice one. That's Steven, cool. let's do it. That'll be the day when we have 30 days off. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. But you'll need 30 days off to do that. <laughs> yeah, at least. Um, all right, we're here with Shepard. They're going to be playing at Click 98.9's Acoustic Lounge. Go get the album. It's called Bombs Away. <laughs> 